uh, real quick. So typical day before the game today, right? We're not gonna throw 500 things at you guys. All right, we're gonna give you specifics, the basics, and then we could add on to that with the meeting when we get there to, uh, tonight, tomorrow in the pregame. I think it's an excellent opportunity, guys. I really do. Be intelligent, we're there for business. We go to Houston and we get another result, all right? Here we go. Any slip up of stretching and going the wrong time, they're gonna exploit us. Look what they did to us at home. It'll be interesting. I'm excited about this. Corey, you allowed to wear those cleats, dude? I don't know. Looks like a distraction. Every time we win the ball in transition, your immediate reaction has to be run behind. Yeah. Okay? Right. Just caught him right on the top. What are you lurking around? You don't speak Spanish. So just get Tim down here. I'll talk to him. So he just, yeah, he just got raked across the front. Pablo went down. Now, I don't know how serious he is, but he pulled himself out of practice, so we might have to get Luis back on. Okay. All right? Yeah. I'm okay with him having the ball there for now, and then we start going. One of you two always making the run, one going, dropping in, Albert getting higher, my outside guys being a presence. Okay? Yeah. All right, boys. Well, obviously this trip's a little bit different because we have uh, you know, back-to-back -back road games. From my perspective, it's all about making sure the details are double and triple checked, everything from flights to buses to hotels, meals, training times. We're really trying to prioritize the use of time and energy, uh, especially for the players, and keep that uh, obviously to a minimum. So everything that we can do just to try and facilitate the movement of the team to where they need to be um, is really what we do on the front end of the road trip and then you know, cross our fingers and hope it goes well once we're actually on the road. not going to be really on for you guys to drop in the back line because we're going to have the three across there. We're going to, that's going to force them to decide. And then it's just little movements from Albert, Kyle, and Sonny to open things up. And then can we get it through you out the other side? We'll have the space out there. I don't care what their record is overall, what position they are in the standings, all right? If we stick to what we need to do, and even in the beginning, if we're willing to sacrifice certain things, frustrate them a little bit, things will open up. Discipline is going to be a key here and then I'm giving you the freedom. When we win the ball, go forward. Go forward and do your thing. Push it a little bit. That's it, we're gonna talk more about this in the game tomorrow, uh, on the round. You got a lot of butter on there. <laughs> butter is comfy. Butter is so healthy. You all right? I wrote a paper on that one time. I got an A on that, it's not a big deal. It's my only A other class. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the J Lane challenge? Which one is that? The one who like gets his hands together or something, and then he just like gets good. First test is out of like a hundred. And then play. What? Those are sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes. And bacon. And eggs. Bacon. Eggs. Butter. Our meals on the road, it's a little bit of a difficult task because we have so many different players with different tastes, with different needs going into a game day, uh, what they like, what's been part of the routine, what's happened. So uh, we work with our nutritionist, Michelle, Tim and myself work with the hotels. We'll look at sometimes the location that we're in. Um, and then we also try and rotate it on a long trip like this. Sometimes where it's more the timing and the planning of the meals on a game day and trying to make sure that that stays very routine. But then especially on a trip like this where we're on the road for five days, making sure that we have variety and hotel meals so guys don't feel like it's getting stale. You want there to be a routine to some of that, uh, and a lot of our guys operate off that. Bro, uh -huh. this, this weather, uh, imagine this every day. Yeah. Todd, I got a question for you. Yeah. Can there be sharks here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah I heard of shark attacks in California. Hey. Probably hey, 100 feet from the shoreline, I would imagine. In, so there's sharks right over there. Oh yeah. yeah. Like these videos people have when they go in like the kayaks. Yeah. The whales oh, just like Oh, oh no, 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 no. You want to go up? The there. one, uh, uh, the modern looking one? Yeah. Yeah, that was Three, cool. 3.5 million. 3.5 million? Yeah. See, I want to go down there with great whites. They're not going to get you. Go, go see Megalodon. <laughs> 90 minutes, guys. That's all we have to be focusing on, all right? We've done talking over the last two days of this. Mentality has to be right. Mentality from everybody here has to be, we're gonna carry out this game plan. Just some reminders, I'll go through fast, we've talked enough about it. Our deep defending out wide, wingbacks, aggressive to step out, anticipate. Arrive there, do not let them get ahead of steam. 
step, stay together, but when you step, you step out and push them backwards. Always be compact. You can step up to gain that ground, but because our front runners step up at times, doesn't mean that we're flying up as well. Let them go hunt a little bit and disrupt. Maybe they post something. All right? Through the league, we have contacts with the California Highway Patrol. Uh, so we'll actually have a police escort for this game. Still estimated to take about 45 minutes to go 12 miles. But on my end, to let the players know that so they can mentally and physically prepare uh, for the match is, is obviously important. Case from Los Angeles and the brand spanking new Bank of California Stadium. It's LAFC hosting Real Salt Lake. We got to see your rappers with the boss. Excuse me, that we conflict with the stars. You got to go look at street Field is like a carpet, all right? During the warm up, think about what we're going to do. Don't think about the moment. Think about us. Think about what we talked about. Think about what we worked on yesterday in the walkthrough. Manage this game in 15 minutes in this half. Three 15 minutes. First 15 minutes, see what they're bringing. Absorb it. Look where we can expose them. Game will open up then. Second 15 minutes, we make adjustments. Come in at halftime, get a breather, then we figure out the second half. Don't leave anything from the moment the whistle blows. Don't leave anything in your tank. Go for it. Okay? Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. We don't care if we score first minute or 90. We know we're doing during set pieces, guys, huh? Make sure we know. Okay, come on. Be very, very good on when we do set up a corner kick. So we're alert. Everyone's alert. Hey, and, and no, going into this, we're going to be under it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, a lot, probably a lot of times. Just stay compact, stay organized, and a lot of communication. One minute. Come on, boys. Quick for me and short for me, all right? Go out and play. Enjoy yourself. We can't get after the ball. Everybody gets behind it, and we get tight. Expand when we win the ball immediately. Look to play. Look to play behind right from the start. Come on, boys. Have confidence. Come on. Uh, Sean Barry making just his third start of the season. It's his first since the second game of the year. Glad and Beezer will protect Ramondo. Up top, Corey Baird will be expected to stretch the field. This team is built in the mold that we saw a few weeks ago from Giovanni Savarese and the Portland Timbers coming here to Bank of California Stadium and stealing a point away from home. Mike Petke and Real Salt Lake will take the field with a different look tonight trying to steal a point or more on the road against LAFC and get revenge for that 5-1 thrashing in March. Kickoff is next. Under control. Carlos Rivela, he's got Ramirez, who's got a step. Christian Ramirez, now it's welcome home to Southern California. Into the penalty area, Rossi, stopped by Ramondo, rebound, falls right back to the veteran keeper. Here's Bofo letting it go and Tyler Miller with a big In general, how would you evaluate uh, the way the team performed? Well, we played a little differently tonight. Um, there was a reason for that. I mean, we have not gotten results on the road. We really took a close look at how LA has fared against the last six opponents, and three of those results they didn't get were against teams that played five in the back. We have some experience with going five in the back, um, but more so, more so at home at the end of a game when we're winning. And then we left Ramirez pretty much wide open on two, on two goals, and, and, and he's going to put those away. Once halftime came, I knew it was my turn to go in, and I got a good 20 minutes to warm up. So I was confident after the warm up and just went out there and played my best. Oh.